Synthetic division is a shortcut to long division. However, the shortcut only works when you are dividing by x minus a number. Using synthetic division, we're going to avoid all of this extra work. Let's gather the information needed for synthetic division, starting with the coefficients on each term. Each of these blue numbers are the coefficients. So we have 1, negative 4, negative 7, positive 8, and 6. Then we need to identify the k value. We're dividing by x minus k, so the number that we're subtracting is 5. So the k value is positive 5. If this would have been, say, x plus 8, then the k would have been negative 8. Next, let's create our division symbol and a line. The k value goes out front. Next, all those blue numbers go underneath. So all of my coefficients are going to go underneath. Now that it's set up, I'm ready to get started. The number in the front gets dropped straight down. So drop it down. Next, we're going to multiply the k value times what we drop down. So 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. We're going to add those together. So negative 4 and 5 make positive 1. And then we're going to multiply the number out front, that 5, by our new number 1. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. Let's add those together. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. Now we'll multiply that 5 out front by the negative 2, which is negative 10. Add, so 8 and negative 10 make negative 2. Let's multiply that 5 out front by the negative 2, which is negative 10. Add, 6 and negative 10 make negative 4. We have most everything we need to write our final answer, but we do need to think about what is the degree of our answer. So let's take a look at the work as if we had done this the long way. If you divided a polynomial of x to the fourth by x to the first, then our answer is x to the third. So looking at the original x to the fourth, I'm going to subtract one from that degree, and that's x to the third. So I'm going to list those out in order, x to the third, x squared, x to the first, a number, and then I have a remainder. Now your remainder always goes over what you divided by. So I'm going to bring down that x minus 5 because that's what I was dividing by. And those red numbers, those are the coefficients on each term. So I have 1x to the third positive 1, so plus 1x squared, minus 2x, minus 2, and the last number is the remainder, so minus 4, plus negative 4, over x minus 5. Now we have our final answer.